So Twitch is going through another uh, Twitch thing about the meta. This time it is about, uh, I guess, implied nudity. There's a Twitch streamer by the name of uh, MorgPie, and I believe she also has like an um, OnlyFans account. And I only mention that because uh, this seems to be the underlying issue a lot of people are having in that Twitch seems okay with certain adult content like this but not other dot content like gambling because they talk about how you know like there's children on this app and the platform and all those things which is true but i also kind of see the other argument which is it being unfair that someone like me a uh, cis male i can go shirtless i can be topless on twitch and not have a problem plenty of streamers uh have gone shirtless who are male and have never had an issue right but when it comes to uh, the female presenting body, that's always been a contentious point. So I understand that. So getting around that by doing like the shirtless meta, but you know, not showing anything, having applied nudity, it's just a way to get around it. You know, my band, one of the reasons they listed was uh, a lap dance. I'm the only one here. So I'm not really sure how I could have given anybody a lap dance. Um, but that was one of the reasons they listed in the ban that I received. So I think, honestly, they are just cracking down on this new meta. Um, and their toss is very open-ended. So they're not giving anyone, you know, no one, nobody's breaking toss. I think the bigger issue here, though, is the fact that Twitch was so nebulous with this terms of service that people could do this in the first place. Because at the end of the day, Twitch is a competition. People want to have the most eyes on them, to have the most views. So people will do whatever they can in order to get that. We've seen Twitch streamers uh, stream full copyrighted material, right? You had the React streamers who are watching like full ass TV shows without permission. You've had people pretending to play video games while using controllers to stream uh, UFC or boxing matches. So this, this happens a lot. And this is just the newest thing, but because it's, I guess sexual in nature, it's becoming a, a bigger issue. But ultimately, if people are going to be topless on Twitch, then Twitch either needs to have like a stronger 18 plus uh, stream so that people can do those things or just make the terms of service very, very clear that no one's allowed to be shirtless, period. Regardless if male, female, non-binary, whatever, just so we have uniformity in the rules. All right, so this is um, editor me. And uh, it turns out Twitch did, in fact, update their terms of service. You guys look it for yourself, but essentially stuff like this will be um, allowed. So there's that. Good, I guess good job, Twitch, or not. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, uh, back to this uh, very short, short video. Because right now I'm seeing people being upset on both ends. Like, oh, this person got banned for this, but they didn't get banned for that. And you know what? I'm like, bro. Most of these streamers are wearing stuff you would see at a beach, at the gym. So I feel like that should be okay. But then again, I'm not in charge of Twitch. I just think it's kind of interesting that it seems to be a new meta almost every week, but only certain meta seem to catch people's attention. I would be remiss if I didn't say that I feel like if it were just a bunch of dudes being shirtless on uh, Twitch, no one would care. Like, at all. But, um, I propose nothing. Maybe I should start uh, streaming on Twitch more. What do you guys think? Should I be a, a, a Twitch streamer or, or what?